as many of you know, uh, I am a great uh, fan and spokesman for psilocybin, for the mushrooms. The mushrooms that I am so stoked on uh, were discovered in 1953 by Gordon and Valentina Wasson in Watla, discovered in 53, made absolutely Schedule I illegal in 1966. Thirteen years was the window in which Western civilization had to study this compound and figure out what it was for. And they were just beginning to focus upon it when it was made illegal. LSD discovered in 37, not brought into the scientific literature until 48, not generally available even in the laboratory until 1950, made totally illegal in 1966. 16 year window. Think about the fact that when LSD was legal, uh, psychiatrists, professional researchers were consistently reporting cures of chronic alcoholism with one 500 gamma dose. One dose. Cure, uh, 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 like a 50% cure rate without recidivism for chronic alcoholism. Spectacular findings were being reported. When LSD swept through the scientific community, it, for, for pharmacologists, psychotherapists, psychiatrists, it had the same kind of excitement and feeling of breakthrough that the splitting of the atom had for the, physicist, for the physics community in the late 30s. Well, science we are told is this absolutely impartial, godlike body of knowledge prosecuted by great men, and it will fearlessly send its questing mind into any situation or environment. This is a, a mental discipline so dispassionate that it sees nothing at all wrong with strapping monkeys into apparatus and hurling them into walls at 70 miles an hour to study traumatic injuries. This is a discipline so unflinching in its pursuit of truth that it will design tiny television cameras to be implanted in plastic penises so that we can see the changes in the color of the vaginal wall as it approaches orgasm. I mean, these guys are unstinting in their devotion to truth in any form. And yet, and yet, for 30 years, Science has accepted government's uh, refusal to allow science to look at the potential impact of psychedelic plants and compounds on human consciousness, on chronic alcoholism, on schizophrenia, on depression, on autism, on uh, learning disorders, on uh, dyslexias, on uh, memory enhancements, so forth and so on. This to me is obscene. The future is mental. 